Hello everyone, uh, this is Pankaj Kanchanani from ETL Zurich and I will be talking about Byzantine agree agreement uh, with a bit of a variation. Um, and this is a joint work with Roger Wattenhofer. We are from the Distributed Computing Group at ETL Zurich and I will be talking about Byzantine agreement with unknown participants and failures. So here is the classical version of the Byzantine agreement problem. Each node is given an input value and each correct node has to output a value such that the values output by the correct nodes are all identical and this identical output value is an input of some correct node. What the classical version of the problem also assumes is that the part participants know the size n of the system or the number of nodes in the system and they also know the upper bound F on the number of Byzantine failures. So in this work, we want to study the problem where the participants of the nodes do not know these values N and F. So let's look at an example. We have a synchronous system. There are four nodes and one of them is Byzantine. There is a broadcast functionality such that a node can send a message to all the nodes in a round. The Byzantine node, however, can decide to send a message or messages to only a subset of nodes. So let's say after the first round of exchange, when the good nodes broadcast, we have the following situation that the node A thinks that there are four nodes in the system because it has heard from itself the nodes B and C and also the Byzantine node. The same goes for node B, however, for node C, since it doesn't hear from the Byzantine node, but it has heard from A, B, and C, it thinks that there are three nodes in the system. So from the point of view of node C, there could be more nodes in the system that are Byzantine. And therefore we ask the question, whether the resiliency of n greater than three F is enough. Note that this much resiliency is necessary because even if the nodes do know the value of n and f, uh, we cannot solve the problem if the resiliency is any less. This is a known result. In this work, we, all, we show that the, res the resiliency of n greater than 3f is also sufficient in the case when the nodes do not know n and f. So let's see how to solve uh, the Byzantine agreement problem in this model. The first thing that we observe is that since n is greater than 3f, the number of good nodes are at least two thirds the total number of nodes in the system. So after the first round of exchange, when the good nodes have broadcast a message, uh, even though the Byzantine node can decide to not send a message to all of the nodes, every good node will receive, the two thirds fraction of the messages received by every good node would be from the good nodes. So for example, for the node A, the two third fractions of the messages that it receives is 2.67 and a strictly larger value is three. So it receives three messages from the good nodes. And so it goes for B and C. So based on this observation, we can build or construct equivalent thresholds, so to speak, which means that if N minus F good nodes broadcast a message M, then a two third fraction of the messages received by every node V will be M. Similarly, if N minus two F good nodes broadcast a message M, then a third of the fraction of messages received by every good, every node V will be the message M. So using this, we can build a simple agreement protocol without termination, namely as follows that in each round, a node will broadcast a message M if it receives a NV by three copies of M, where NV is the message number of number of nodes that, that V hears from. Um, and a node will accept the message M if it receives two NV by three copies of a message M. Note that this protocol has the property that if a node, correct node accepts a message M, then all the correct nodes will have accepted M by the next round. Because if, it, if a correct node accepts M, then it receives two NV by three copies of M, which means that NV by three of those were broadcast by good nodes, 
So all the good notes will broadcast in the next round leading to the acceptance of the message at the next round. So let's see how we can add termination on top of this. Well, let's see how we do this in the case when NF and NF are known. And there the problem is trivial. We just run the protocol for F plus one rounds and this ensures that a correct node is elected as a leader or the king is selected. So in this example, there is only one Byzantine node. So in round one, we select node one as the leader. In round two, we elect the second node as the leader. And after two rounds, we would have ensured that one of them was the correct leader. In this case, node one, because node two was Byzantine. So let's see how we solve this leader election problem when NNF are not known. In this case, since, since the participants do not know N, it's unreasonable to assume that the identifiers of the nodes are consecutive. So what we do is we use the agreement without termination procedure that I mentioned before to agree on the set of identifiers or the set of nodes that are present in the system. So let's say in the current state, we node eight and node three think that there are three nodes in the system, namely four, seven, and eight. And node seven and four think that there are four nodes in the system, namely three, four, seven, and eight. Clearly, um, if we select the smallest ID as the leader, uh, the correct nodes might end up selecting different leaders because the smallest ID node could be a Byzantine node, as in this case, and it can make sure that not everybody every correct node has accepted its identifier. However, since we were using this agreement without termination procedure, which has this property that if a node accepts a message, if a correct node accepts a message, then all the other correct, all the correct nodes will accept the same message by the next round, which means in this example, um, since three has been accepted by seven, and by the next round, three will be accepted by all the correct nodes. So if in the next round two, uh, everybody selects the second smallest ID as the leader, namely the node four, uh, it might be okay. However, there might be another problem, namely, what if uh, there were more nodes present in the system, all with the larger identifiers, and the node four itself was Byzantine. So this is a problem because we want to ensure that a correct node is elected as a leader. So it turns out that if we continue this procedure long enough, that is each node selects the i the smallest ID as the leader uh, in round i, then at some point, a correct node will be picked up, picked up as a leader. And building upon this and the agreement without termination procedure with a little bit of more work, we can solve uh, the Byzantine agreement problem in this model. We can have faster and slower versions of this protocol. Uh, you can, uh, look the details in the paper. So here is the summary. In this model where the nodes do not know NNF, the resiliency of N greater than three F is necessary and sufficient. So here we considered a synchronous model uh, that was for a reason, because if let's say we consider an asynchronous model what we can use is a partitioning argument to show that Byzantine agreement is impossible. Namely, we divide the nodes, the set of nodes into two sets, A and B, and we arbitrarily delay the messages between A and B. Since A has no idea of the total size of the system, it cannot distinguish the system from another system where the set of nodes P is totally absent. And then we can, come, we can show that uh, with a finite probability, the set, uh, the set of nodes in A uh, will decide a different value than the set of nodes in B. So there will be a disagreement with finite probability. So as a further future work to look into, uh, what about if the system is semi-synchronous? That's one thing. Another thing is that here we consider uh, the system to be static which uh, means that the node, number of nodes don't, do not really change. However, what if uh, the participants enter and leave the system and the network is dynamic? So 
thank you for your attention. Um, that was it from my side. If you have any comments or feedback, uh, please leave them in the comments below or I will be happy to see you in the live session as well. Thank you.